Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech and the Google Pixel 2 XL has been out a little over six months and I've used it almost every single day since it's come out. Now I know a lot of you know me for doing different iPhone videos and the iPhone 10 is something I use regularly as well, but the other phone I use every day, most of the day is this phone. So I use this just as much as my iPhone, maybe even more some days, maybe even less, it just depends. Now let's first talk about the design of this phone because this is something I really like. You either love this or hate this from what I've been seeing other people say about it, but most people tend to like it and it's a very unique design. It's very simple, but it's also playful because of this orange button. So you've just got black and white and there is just black on black and a couple other colors as well, depending if you're going with the pixel or the pixel XL. But I like that it's just got the orange button. It sets it apart. It's kind of playful and simplistic and minimalist at the same time. It's just a really nice design in my opinion. I like the glass piece here and the nice fingerprint sensor with just the G on the bottom and kind of a textured plastic coating over aluminum. Now this is held up pretty well. I don't have too many scratches on the screen, maybe a few light ones here and there and I don't use a screen protector, and of course that would have been prevented if I did, but I love the thinness of the phone and the overall feel. It doesn't get enough credit for what it is as far as its design goes. Now, I do have a little nick out of it here, and I don't know what that's from. I've dropped it once, and maybe that's when that came out. I'm not sure. I dropped it once on, I think it was grass, so I don't know where this came from, but it took a little nick out of that plastic piece. And I do have a case for it and I've used those, but I prefer to use it without a case. And I think it's held up pretty well. You do have some wear around here. That's just from setting it on the table and picking it back up, doing this, picking it up over time. It's seemed to wear a little bit. Now the price of the pixel two XL can be a little much, especially when it first came out, but it's not unlike anything from Apple or Samsung. And I think this is my favorite phone out of Android phones. Now, some people would say I'm crazy because of the screen. I have no problems with the screen whatsoever. I love that it's color accurate. I know people don't like that. It's kind of dim or maybe has that off tilt blue shift. Honestly, I hardly see that, especially after the first update they did to fix the screen. I have no issues with the screen and most people I know that use these say that it's not an issue for them. They've used it and they don't have really any problems with it. It's, it's gotten much better. The speed of the phone is really good for me. Most of the time, the only times it's not fast is when I've, I've had it down for the night plugged in or whatever. I pick it up first thing and it starts to get all of its notifications. And then maybe I go into music or I go out and go into something else, Twitter or any of those. And then it starts to stutter. Sometimes I'll hit the task manager here, switch back and forth and it gets really slow and then it speeds right up and it's fine. Most of the time. Now the display, like I said, looks pretty good, but right now I have the adaptive brightness settings turned on and I also have the night light turned on. So let's turn that off so you can see the real look of the screen. I do use that feature, but it looks noticeably bluer at night, of course, with that off. Now my battery life has been really good. It's been three days, 16 hours and 25 minutes since a full charge. I use this regularly. Uh, I don't know that I charge it all the way up, many of the times, but overall it's, it does pretty good on battery. I don't really have to think about it too much. And I think it lasts easily all day long, sometimes a day and a half, sometimes two days. It just depends on how you use it. If you're going to be playing games or watching video, it's going to eat up battery more. But if you're using it for email and tasks and texting, things like that, it will easily last a long time. Now the camera is just something that I continue to really enjoy on this phone. The camera's incredibly good. It's super fast. And honestly, most of the time, if I'm on the go and I'm recording a video, maybe I'm recording an iOS update video. I use this camera to do the thumbnails for it because if I don't have my GH five with me uh, to take a nice photo, I use this and I can get a really nice picture exactly what I'm looking for. And it always looks good. It's just got a great camera, both front and rear cameras, but especially this camera. One thing I find I use continually is the squeeze for Google assistant. It's just something I find I use over and over to find directions and, 
and maybe restaurant ratings, anything that you could use the assistant for. I use it continually because it's so quick and easy to use. Just give it a squeeze or you could say those keywords, but when I'm holding it, it's easy enough to squeeze the phone and use it that way. The dual front facing speakers is something I really like. And if I had to find something negative about the entire phone, that would really be only two features. One of them is it doesn't have wireless charging and I've become really used to that. It's not a huge de deal breaker or anything like that, but it's something I'm used to and I find that uh, I miss it more than I thought I would on this phone. And the other thing is when you're making a phone call and using speakerphone, for some reason it sounds kind of garbly or has a lot of, it almost sounds like the speakers are blown from time to time, but they're not. If you're in YouTube and playing a video, the speakers are fine. But sometimes when you're on the phone call, it can be clear one time and not the next. It's just hard to, hard to explain why it's doing that. I'm not sure if it's something to do with the app itself, but when I'm making phone calls, it sometimes sounds like you've got a really blown speaker and other times it's fine. So I'm not sure what that's all about. Other than that, there's not much more to say. I don't have really many negatives to say. It charges fast, battery's great, the screen is okay for me. Um, that's about it. I love the accurate colors, so I don't have any complaints about that at all. I would love to know if you've got one of these, if you have a Pixel or Pixel 2 XL, what your thoughts are about it. I'm curious to see what Google has for the next version of their Pixel line and also what Android P might be bringing down the road, although we've seen some of that. And I do have that running on my Pixel XL right here. So both of them are really great. And this one is just a better version of last year's. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. Thank you.